It's Ash from Super Videos back for another video. This one's gonna be a video looking at the post credit scenes from The Walking Dead World Beyond. Now, of course, we did receive one post credit scene at the end of season one, episode four, which was the wrong end of a telescope. And we talked about that one, but there was another post credit scene at the end of the latest episode, season one, episode six, which was called Shadow Puppets. So I'm gonna be talking about these post credit scenes. I'm gonna actually talk about both of them at the same time. It'll be like a recap, a quick recap about the first one, and then I'll talk a little bit about what was in the second one. And I'm gonna use it to make some predictions about what we might potentially see going forward with World Beyond. So in the first post credit scene, which was at the end of season one, episode four, we basically saw inside one of CRM's facilities, one that is used by the scientists that they have to do experiments. And this is the exact same one that Iris and Hope's father, Leo Bennett, is staying at. And it is in New York State, based on what Elizabeth revealed to the kids. So in the first post credit scene, we basically have this shot of the scientist who has the CRM emblem tattooed on their hand, pressing the record button, and then she's basically talking about what sort of experiments they're doing. They're using test subjects to do experiments on the walkers. In fact, one of the test subjects that they have is none other than one of their own scientists. So it appears that the CRM actually had one of their own scientists be bit so that they could do experiments on him. And also what we know after the first post credit scene is that they use A and B to classify their test subjects. Now this scientist right here was classified as an A. So it appears like they classified anyone who is bit as an A. Now in terms of what is B, this goes back to what was teased at on The Walking Dead's original show. On The Walking Dead's original show, we know that Rick Grimes was traded in as a B to the CRM. So putting those two together, it appears that A is someone who is just bit and B is someone who can actually be of value to the CRM. Either a scientist, a soldier, or someone like that who's valuable or can be valuable to the CRM. Now he's not the only test subject in the first post credit scene we saw tons of test subjects and they were all bit. The way they're doing their experiments is they are doing experiments before the person reanimates and when they reanimate just so that they have a complete picture over the stages of what happens when you actually get bit. So they're varying the environments, the atmosphere and the climate and all of that to see the effect on the test subject and then we got this shot, a shot of Dr. Leo Bennett, Iris and Hope's father, along with the same scientist that we just saw doing these experiments. And also we saw two other scientists, one of which, the one to the far right, is the exact same test subject that we just saw. So that proves that they were using one of their own scientists as a test subject. Now, Dr. Leo Bennett had his hand around the female scientist, so that is a clue that they may be in a relationship. And then the second post credit scene actually picks up exactly where we left off. It actually starts with this picture frame right here. Now, we don't exactly know whether it takes place at the same exact time or whether it's a different day, but they just opened it up with the same shot. At this point, I'm leaning towards it being at the exact same time. But then what we actually see in this post credit scene is the same female scientist picking up some documents with Dr. Leo Bennett's name on it. Then she opens it up. She sees this card with a drawing of the kids, Iris and Hope. And then she opens it up and it's a note from the kids that says, Dad, hurry up and finish saving the world so you can come home. We love you. And then both Iris and Hope signed it. So obviously the kids sent this to their father and he kept it. And then as the scientist is looking through these documents, she gets a phone call. On the other side is none other than Lieutenant Colonel Elizabeth Kublek. Or I think that's who's on the other side because she does address them as Lieutenant Colonel. So unless there's another Lieutenant Colonel, it's probably 
Lieutenant Colonel Elizabeth Kublek. But what we actually hear is, but what we actually do hear in this conversation from the scientist's point of view is two big reveals. One, revealing that Dr. Leo Bennett, Iris and Hope's father, is in fact in trouble because she does say that we will take care of Dr. Bennett and his security detail will not be a problem. So that, so that pretty much reveals that they're going to do something to him, either kill him or use him as a test subject. The other piece of what's revealed, she says, we are prepared and have planned for whatever comes when they get here. So that obviously hints at a possible head to head between whoever's getting there and the CRM. And I think what they mean by they, when they say when they get here, is Felix Huck and the kids. Obviously, at this point, Elizabeth and the CRM soldiers have destroyed the Omaha colony, and they do know that the kids are after their father. She does know that they are most likely on their way to the New York facility, which is the exact same one that she's at. So she might have told them, get ready for when they get here so that you can deal with them. I could be wrong, but I think that's pretty much what they revealed. Now, is that actually going to happen? Are they actually going to get there? And is there going to be an actual confrontation at some point? Maybe, maybe not. At this point, it's very likely because they did tease at it. Now, whether that's going to happen at the end of this season or the final season, which is season two, is a different question. I'm leaning more towards it being in the second season. If not the finale, then somewhere in the mid-season. But I could be wrong about that. But obviously the big question is whether the CRM is willing to just kill all of the kids. And obviously we won't know the answer to that quite yet. But that's pretty much everything that was in this post credit scene and everything that both of these post credit scenes revealed to us. I'm interested to know everyone's thoughts and opinions about both of these post credit scenes. What do you think about these post credit scenes and where do you think this story is going from here? As far as the CRM connections go. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video make sure to share and smash the like button. Subscribe to join our community and press the bell to be notified when I upload. That's it for this video. See you next time for another super video.